Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Army Public School PMA Kakul Resource Network. Before we start our today's subject history, please subscribe this page and click on bell icon. Learning outcomes Students will be able to Describe the social order of Sumerians Explain the innovation and writing system of Sumerians In our today's subject, we will discuss about Summer Valley Civilization in which we will discuss social order of Sumerians Belief of the Sumerians, Innovations of Sumerians, the writing system, and decline of the Summer Valley Civilization. Summer Valley Civilization Summer Valley was one of the earliest and most prosperous settlement of Mesopotamia. Summer was situated in the southernmost part of Mesopotamia, modern day Iraq. Sumerians were actually people from Anatolia who settled in the area around 3200 BCE. What is Summer Valley Civilization? Summer was an ancient civilization founded in Mesopotamia region of the Fertile Crescent situated between Tigris and Euphrates rivers, known for their innovations in language, governance, architecture, and more. Sumerians are considered the creators of civilization as modern humans understand it. Social order of these Sumerians, social structures of the Sumerians, the population of different city-states had their own gods as they were polytheists and were ruled by kings. They also had social classes that assigned tasks and status to each person in the kingdom so that the society could function smoothly. Now the Sumerian society was divided into four major social classes. Which classes? First one were nobles, second commoners, then clients, and the last were slaves. Clients Clients were the people who depended on nobles and work on temple and cigarette for their livelihoods. Clients also included those commoners who did not own any property and worked on the nobility's vast states. Slaves Slavery was prevalent in Sumerian society. Most slaves were prisoners of war. They mostly used to perform small chores at homes of owners or worked for temples or priests. Have a look on picture. Sumerian social structure. First one, king, then nobles, then commoners, and then comes slaves. Kings and nobles include royals and priests, officials and families. Commoners include temple officials, farmers, merchants, craftsmen and fishermen and slaves include those who work on buildings, grind grain, weave cloth. Nobles and slaves make up less than 10% of the total population. Nobles Nobles owned large streets as family properties. They were responsible for maintaining the cigarette and its surrounding land. 
Sukkuret means the ancient Mesopotamian temple. As every city had its own sacred, nobles controlled the administration and bureaucracy of the city on the behalf of royalty. Commoners Mesopotamian commoners were usually either farmers who lived outside the city or worked as car pushers, brick-making workers, carpenters, fishermen, soldiers, tradesmen, bakers, stone carvers, potters, weavers, leather tanners, etc. These all workers were included in the commoners. Beliefs of the Sumerians Sumerians were polytheists and worshipped many gods. Their gods were believed to have characteristics similar to humans like the ability to fight, get married, have children, etc. On the other hand, the Sumerians also believed their gods were immortal and all-powerful despite being anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic means having characteristics similar to humans. Sumerians believe that their gods have characteristics similar to humans like they have ability to fight, get married and have children. On the other hand, they also believe that their gods were immortal, eternal and all-powerful. In order to avoid any sort of aggression from gods, the Sumerians sacrificed animals, offered food and other valuables to them. The Sumerians did believe in an afterlife but it was not a happy wonderful paradise. They believed the after was a miserable, grey, dark existence with all their ancestors. They believed that all humans go to the same place after death, independent of how they lived their life on earth. Innovations of the Sumerians They faced serious challenges like seasonal floods, droughts, and attacks from hostile neighbors. Due to the absence of protective walls around their settlements. To deal with natural challenges, Sumerians dug canals for irrigation and controlled water flows to overcome floods and drought. Sumerians invented or improved a wide range of technology, cuneiform script, geometry, irrigation, saws, and other tools. Security from hostile communities was ensured by building boundary walls made of mud and bricks. For this, the required material was collected through barter trade with other communities and regions. Bartered materials included animals, clothes, tools, grains, stone, wood, and metals, etc. Writing system of Sumerians Sumerians were the first to invent writing and wrote on clay tablets or monoliths. The script designed for the Sumerian language was cuneiform. The invention of cuneiform was one of the most important achievements of their society, which allowed them to keep records of past events. However, 
their language did not resemble any deed or living language. The famous ancient poem, The Epic of Gilgamesh, was written in the Sumerian cuneiform script. It was translated in 1872 CE by George Smith. The Epic of Gilgamesh was a long poem written on Assyrian and Babylonian clay tablets around 2000 BCE. Three tablets exist even today written in Semitic language. Decline of the Summer Valley Civilization The Sumerian city-states were constantly at war with each other. The lack of unified state led to attacks by their neighbor states. They were first defeated by their neighbor, the Akkadians, in around 2300 BCE and later by the Babylonians. Climate change was also the reason of decline of the Summer Valley civilization. How? Climate change was primary driver. As a result of poorer crop production, summer became less capable of responding to famine. Summer city-states was eventually absorbed into the Akkadian population. <laughs>